Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is the end of day report for trading on June the 20th, 2006, Monday. The market did very interesting things. Monday morning, people woke up to the futures on the Dow being up 200 points. Here's the gap right here. And as you can see, that gap was not filled today. Therefore, my rendition of this price action for today is that this was nothing more than computer algorithm driven uh, it started Sunday night on the open of the futures almost invisible volume everyone's enjoying Father's Day chilling and then here you go computer algorithms just jumped it up um, they want to blame Brexit saying that basically they've priced in that there's gonna be no Brexit I'm here to tell you that this is nothing but a Ponzi scheme. This was done in order to collapse this market. So now the market's in a precarious situation. If they announce that uh, Britain is going to go, then we collapse utterly. If they announce that Britain is going to stay, then we still are going to fall because all this was priced in. So once you price in, what do you have? You have a Take Back Friday. So you can expect this Take Back Friday to be to be pretty, pretty intense to the downside. We could even see it as early as Wednesday or Thursday. So this gap is going to be filled one way or another. You mark my words on that. Right now, overhead resistance is at seventeen eight twenty five. So for all this doing, all this pumping. Uh, today still technically nothing has happened because this market overall is still in a bear pattern all right so still nothing to write home about all you did was try to save it it just bounced off the trend line there and that's about it but I'll show you a little bit more taking a look at the dollar as you can see the dollar continued its descent all right and you have a gap down here on the dollar so what does this usually tell us it tells us that basically just as I showed you last week that the markets are being controlled and rigged to a point uh, a thing that should be noted is that the Bitcoin pulled back drastically as well so it's following suit it's still following suit with the dollar it's basically pegged itself to the dollar which is not supposed to happen if Bitcoin is truly an independent currency but it's not as I've demonstrated before and I will go into more depth with that in an upcoming video um, I caught some some uh, some flack uh, for that video but you can see here with the dollar index it's continuing its decline and so is the Bitcoin um, basically what you have is a situ situation where the central banks are propping up um, the dollar to the best of their ability and they're propping up the stock market and in, in doing so they're smacking the Bitcoin and they're smacking the gold and silver market in the process I'll show you what I mean here we are alright so you can see here's the silver they kept it at bay as long as they could then they couldn't hold it anymore it popped they beat it back down and then it's popping again they're, they're having more trouble and a hard time keeping the silver down alright so this silver is setting itself up for an explosive move higher before the weekend I think we're gonna get uh, we're gonna close above eighteen dollars uh, by the end of the week here in the silver alright similar situation uh, brewing in the gold gold is setting itself up for explosive move higher too I do believe we're gonna close above thirteen ten uh, by weeks end and the gold as well very well supported at 1284.40 right now and this mar market is pulse waving uh, positive right now All right, here's a quick uh, intraday look at the Bitcoin as you can see it followed the same downward trajectory as the US dollar did alright this is the Bitcoin chart here's the US dollar chart downward trajectory Bitcoin chart downward trajectory same identical charts that should let you know who's operating and doing what with what it's right here 
follow the money. The proof is in the pudding. Finally, while they were beating, uh, allowing the dollar to go down and, and combating, trying to combat the precious metals in the Bitcoin, they released the constraints on the crude oil and it just went straight up today. As you can see, the petrodollar wins the day. So they allow the dollar to be beaten, but let the petrodollar, this crude oil here, the black gold, accelerate. All part of the plan and the manipulation. So you can expect higher fuel prices, but you can expect a cheaper dollar. So you'll have a harder time affording the higher fuel costs. Anyhow, uh, that's all I have right now. So remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can, give nothing back.